What's up guys, this is the High Mountain Homestead and today I'm going to be talking about the four ways to tell if your sheep are pregnant. If you're new here, we're the High Mountain Homestead. We're a homesteading operation dedicated to talking about better soil, better plant life, and better animals. Let's start talking about it. Okay, let me start with what is probably the most obvious way to tell if your sheep are pregnant and that is them getting bigger. Specifically, I want to talk about when to expect them to get bigger. Now, sheep gestations are about uh, five months, and you shouldn't expect them to look noticeably bigger until they are about six weeks out. Now, that differs per breed, but that's about what I've noticed with, with my ewes. So when they've about four to four and a half months after they've been covered is when it was pretty obvious to me to realize that hey they're pregnant because of their size let me add to that on size look for shape too so roundness is something that you're really going to want to look for also don't stress if your sheep are not as big as you think they should be um, some tips that i would give somebody is to look at them while they're standing look at them straight on from behind and you can usually tell their roundness from looking behind or look at them um, when they're laying down which they will do more when they're pregnant and kind of their, their pregnant belly gets, gets pushed up with the earth underneath it and you can really tell that they are in fact pregnant. Last note on their size, I would say make sure you give them ample time. Like don't be frustrated if they are not as big as you think they are or one is indeed smaller. Um, there's a lot of other signs that you should be checking for which I'm gonna go into in a sec. All right, so the second way that I would say to check and see if your ewes are pregnant or to see how far along they are in their pregnancy is to check their udders and to make a habit of checking them regularly. So I come out and I check about every day or every other day and I'll show you what we're looking at and looking for. Okay, so you can kind of tell that she's got a little bit of, a, of an udder forming back there um, and that's great. That's exactly what I want to see. She is about a month out and that has progressed farther than um, farther than I've seen in the past few days that I've I've come out there. She's got a little bit more of an udder going on, which is great. Another thing that I will want to be looking for as the days and weeks go by is to see how low her udder gets along with her sister Diana over here. Um, a lot of sheep people refer to this as their bags dropping, and basically what that means is they're just filling up with milk it's great it's what you want as you can guess as the milk bags get fuller with milk um, they're they're closer to having their babies so you're going to want to be looking for that now don't stress too much if they're not getting super full i've heard a lot with first time use um, first time mom use that they will um, they won't maybe get as full um, and, and i've also heard stories of milk not coming in until just hours before they give birth but I have heard a lot of people, ooh, I, had a good, I had a good visual down there. You can kind of see, uh, see her udder starting to form. Um, I've heard a lot of folks say that between uh, two weeks out is kind of a, the longest you can expect and maybe you know, three to five days out is, is, is average. But I will, I'll see when these girls come in. I'm really happy to start seeing an, an udder forming uh, on Demeter that's more obvious and uh, I have looked at Diana in the back and she has one too but it's just kind of hard to get get the camera down there alright so the third point is kind of an easy one it's that you start displaying kind of erratic behavior when they are expecting so my use I've only known them as pregnant use I've only had them about two and a half months now and they came to me already uh, about halfway into their pregnancy and so they, uh, they've kind of always acted a little bit strange, but here are some things to look for. So you can expect your pregnant ewes to spook a little bit easier. Uh, so when you're, you know, trying to bring them somewhere or corral them into a closed space, they'll, uh, they won't like it. And they'll, they'll try to, they'll try to outmaneuver their way out. And then another thing that I've noticed a lot is they lay down a lot and they kind of, kind of lay down hard. They like, like flop on the ground. And so that's something that I've heard is not uncommon, which, which is good, I guess, to know that, uh, know that they're exhibiting kind of the, the typical pregnancy signs. All right, and the fourth and last thing that I'll give on tips to know if your ewes are pregnant is looking at their, their backside. 
you're going to look for pinkness um, and you're going to look for it to get a little bit wider. I noticed this when they were about four months pregnant and it's gotten pinker and wider most every day. And then as it's been, as it's progressed, you've seen it kind of uh, take shape and texture and even, and even get a little bit floppy, if that's appropriate to say. Uh, but it is, it is great to see. Um, it's obvious. Oh, fighting each other a little bit. So as you might guess, uh, it's, it's very important for, for that to start happening. It's basically just widening and prepping the, uh, the, the lamb's entrance into the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you talking about uh, pregnancy signs in your sheep. When they do start lambing, which we're, we're just under a month out now from that, I will post a video of either the baby lambs and or what that process actually looks like, depending on if I, if I catch them doing it or not. So thank you for watching. I'm PJ with the High Mountain Homestead. We'll see you next time.